Hey everybody, it's Athena and I am here to show you some really amazing ways to ground and clear your energy. So today I'm going to be doing that with some essential oils as well as yoga. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to begin in an easy seated position, grabbing cedar wood essential oil. You're going to do one to three drops in your hand. And then to activate the oil, we're going to rub it in a clockwise direction. One, two, three. Bringing it to your face, and I'd like you to take three nice deep breaths in and out. And then you can take this oil and rub it anywhere on your body. Today, I'm going to rub it on my feet with the intentions of grounding my energy. So cedar wood, of course, is from the cedar tree. So trees are known for their spiritual aspects um, of grounding the energy. So if you think about a tree, the roots go down into the earth. So that connection to the earth, really rooting and grounding there, right? And also the leaves and the branches go up towards the sky, towards the universe. So receiving the sun, receiving the rain from the heavens, allowing it to come down into the leaves, into the branches, into the trunk, and then down into the roots. So it's a really good symbol of connecting the heavens to earth. And we do that through the trunk, right, which is us human beings, our heart center, right in the center of that trunk. So anytime you need a little bit of a way to visualize a grounding, go ahead and visualize yourself as a tree and bringing your hands up to the sky and then allowing what you're receiving to go all the way through your body back into the earth. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Roll the shoulders down and back, hands facing up. Let's go ahead and take some nice deep breaths in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, let's take the arms up overhead. Exhaling your hands to heart center. And repeat after me. I am grounded, I am strong, I am stable, I am protected. I am grounded, I am strong, I am stable, I am protected. I am grounded, I am strong, I am stable, and I am protected. From here we're going to inhale the arms up. Interlacing the fingers, reaching up towards the sky, turning your gaze up. And then as we exhale, one hand lowers down, the other hand is going to reach, opening up through the side. And slowly switch, other side, reaching up, feeling that stretch in the side of the body. And bringing that down. So you can either walk your fingertips behind you, or you can clasp onto your fingers behind you and open the chest. Open through the throat chakra, open the heart. Find your breath. And one more. Exhale, slowly release, walking the hands forward and you're going to just go ahead and bring your head down One more breath here, and slowly walk your hands back in. Good. From there, we're going to come into a tabletop position, so hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're going to lower the belly with control as we inhale, and then exhale, round the spine. Inhale, and exhale. 
One more inhale and exhale. Coming back to neutral. We're going to push our hips back, walk our fingertips out, coming into our first child's pose. So dropping the, the third eye to the mat. So when that third eye touches the earth, I want you to acknowledge her, acknowledge Gaia, acknowledge your connection to her as we are living within her. So this is a great time to set intentions. This is a great time to practice gratitude. And this also is reminding us that we are one with her as we combine our third eye with her. So set an intention here. What is it that you're looking for in your life? What is it that you want to receive out of this yoga practice? Now is the time to set that. One more breath here. Curling the toes under, spreading the fingers, putting the hips up towards the sky, belly engaged, ears are lined up with those arms into downward facing dog. Having that root chakra, right? So the bottom of our tailbone, think about that as the root chakra. Like the base of our spine is our root, and right now it is facing up towards the sun. So activating through that root chakra. Looking in between the hands, stepping both feet forward into a forward fold. Now if you need to, you can always place the hands right on, you can place the hands right on the shins, a block, or you can bring them all the way down. Again, whatever feels best for you today. We're going to inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine, exhale, hold. Stepping the right leg back, coming into a nice low lunge here. Angling the back foot, coming up to a warrior one. Grounded through the feet, engaging the belly, reaching up towards the sky. Grounding your energy down into the earth. Feeling strong and stable in your stance. Exhale forward. Step back to downward dog. Look in between the feet. Step both feet forward. Forward fold. Finding your breath. Let's inhale, half lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Stepping the right leg back, going into that low lunge. And then we're going to drop that back foot at an angle and come up to warrior one on the other side. Again, we're grounding down through those legs. So let's do it from this angle so you guys can see a little better. So angled back foot, hips and chest are squared forward. Knees right over that middle toe. Arms come up. Grounding your energy into the earth. Reaching your energy up to the sky. So in yoga, we have the pleasure of learning about duality. Learning about reaching up and grounding down at the same time, all while staying in our center. One more breath here. 
We're gonna take that back foot to meet the front. Arms come down. Coming into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. So your feet are going to be under the hips. If you need a little bit more balance, you can always bring them a little wider. So feet here. All four sides of the feet rooted down into the ground. Again, this is grounding. This is root chakra. This is feeling that connection with the earth. So I want you to visualize all of your energy going down your body into your feet. Into your feet here. Engaging the leg muscles. Engaging the core, right? Rolling the shoulders down and back. Arms alongside the body, palms facing forward. Again, this is where you can repeat your mantra. I am grounded. I am strong. I am stable. I am protected. I am grounded. I am strong. I am stable. I am protected. I am grounded. I am strong. I am protected. Inhale the arms up overhead, reaching up towards the sky here, opening the heart center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping back to plank position, holding plank here. So nice, strong plank. So from the side angle, strong plank. So the booty's not too high and it's not arching low. Nice, strong plank. From here, the hips go back into the sky. Downward facing dog. Lowering to the knees, back into child's pose. And you can stay here anywhere from five to ten minutes, whatever feels best for you. And you can do this series anytime, day, night, lunch break. I want to keep them short so then you guys are able to fit them in your, your day. And of course, you can add on to this if you'd like or shorten it, whatever feels best for you. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to become grounded with intentions and with some movement. So those poses are real simple. Um, of course, you can modify if you need to. And if you have questions, let me know. Thank you.